should I sell my Mavic Pro that I currently have in anticipation to get either the Mavic Zoom or the Mavic 2 Pro? Your resource for drone news, hot topics, tutorials and how to fly videos and anything drone and tech related. What's up everybody? What's up everybody? It's your boy Drone X Factor and today I'm answering two important questions. So if you like this channel and this content, stay tuned, hit subscribe, thumbs up and stay to the end of this video because I'll be telling you my plans to give away DJI Mavic 2 Pro every month for the next six months. I'm going to show you how I plan to pull that one off. I did a, a live video today on my Facebook uh, feed, Drone X Factor on Facebook. Go check it out. Talking about whether you should sell your Mavic Pro in anticipation for the new Mavic 2 Pro. And I got a bunch of questions even related to the new version 2.0. And that's why I decided to make this video to let's trash this out a little bit and get to the bottom of it. So number one, yes, you should absolutely sell your DJI Mavic Pro. As a matter of fact, you should have sold it already because if you knew that this was coming and we kind of knew that this was coming, we didn't know when, but we knew that it was coming soon. Now, if you didn't, it's not the end of the world because DJI products and one of the reasons why everyone buys DJI products is not just because of their reliability and quality, but they also retain their value to a very large extent. So even if you're not going to get the full money for your Mavic Pro, if you sell it right now, you will still be getting more than if you wait until August 23rd because obviously the price is going to go down and I'll tell you why for sure it's going to go down. Most likely DJI will discontinue this drone. They will not be manufacturing it anymore, especially since they will most likely be releasing two versions of the Mavic and the Mavic Zoom is technically the new Mavic Pro upgrade because it's going to have a better camera and it's probably going to be priced around a thousand dollars eleven twelve hundred dollars max even though I doubt it why do I say I stop at a thousand or eleven hundred dollars because you if you've been listening to all people who have been making drone videos they all say the same thing with competition comes better for us the consumer because it drives prices down and that's what Autel did when they released let's face it the best drone that does uh, 4k 60 frames a second portable drone on the market today and they pretty much that drone is topping the, the original Mavic that's let's face it two years old and because they came in at a price at a thousand dollars DJI doesn't have a choice right now. They have to release the Mavic Zoom at least within that $1,000 price point or a little bit less, which I doubt, or a little bit more. So I anticipate the DJI Mavic Zoom coming in at around $1,000. So does that make sense? It wouldn't make sense to go $1,200 because that drone is poised to compete with the Autel Evo. So why go $1,200? You might just be giving the Autel Evo some extra sales. Now, we don't know if it's gonna come in with side obstacle avoidance sensors, all around obstacle sensors, then that could be a game changer and drive the price up a little bit more. Either which way it's gonna come with more features, even if, if it costs more money, especially safety features, if you're a new flyer, that you will definitely want. So you're probably gonna end up getting the Mavic Zoom if you're a hobbyist and you're not really into the pro or you're not really into the one inch sensor or into upping your professional game or you know you just want to shoot videos and take some stills and share it with your families and your friends and in drone groups you're probably going to end up getting that Mavic Zoom especially if it comes with side obstacle avoidance sensors so why waste time and wait until it's released better you sell your Mavic Pro now get the most that you can get for it so that when the Mavic 2 Pro comes out or the Mavic 2 Zoom comes out, you will have already had money. Now, people ask me, what if the Mavic Pro is the only drone that I own? Then you have a little bit of a hiccup there because now you have to make a decision. If you sell your Mavic Pro right now, especially if you live in somewhere like New York where it's summer now and you basically only have about a month and a half, two months left before fall kicks in and the place starts to get a little cold. If you sell it now, 
yes you might get the most that you can get for it but you might be out of a drone so i would suggest number one if you have a spare drone don't waste time let that mavic pro go but if you don't have a spare drone now you have to make a decision now it becomes a toss-up because you have to say well if i sell it and i get the most money that's great right now but i can't fly so now you can't have both if you want to stay and fly and hold on to your mavic pro until the mavic zoom comes out or the mavic 2 pro comes out then hold on to it but don't expect to get the most for it when august 23rd comes if that makes sense if you're a drone collector and you're just collecting drones well then it doesn't matter you'll get the mavic uh, 2 zoom or you'll get the mavic uh, 2 pro anyway so just go ahead and hold on to your mavic pro but if not and if you're you're thinking hey should i buy a mavic pro now absolutely not unless money is tight unless you are on a very tight budget because you know you're going to be spending about a thousand dollars twelve hundred dollars for that zoom depending on how much obstacle avoidance it comes with whether it comes with a built-in screen or not but either which way it will be competitively priced because of the hotel evil and that's what competition brings so rest assured let your mavic pro go if you are a hobbyist and you're not looking for the one inch sensor you're going to love the mavic zoom i believe anyway and it's just a matter of time anyway before you get it so take less of a loss right now instead of waiting for a while and taking more of a loss and when it comes to bugs and kinks don't worry about these things because dji knows what they're doing and if there's any bugs and kinks i'm pretty sure they'll sort it out rapidly and efficiently if they haven't done that already they're not new to this game they're the leaders in this industry and i have trust and faith in every product that they release including the mavic air which i never had a problem with so i would suggest don't even think along that lines go ahead and pull the trigger and get your mavic pro offloaded right now question number two should i sell my phantom 4 pro whether it be a version one or a version two to get the new dji mavic 2 pro or should i pick up the new version 2.0 instead of going with the mavic 2 pro i would say hold off it's one thing if you owned it already and you're thinking about selling and i'll talk about that in a little bit but why go and pull the trigger on a version 2.0 phantom 4 pro or version 1 phantom 4 pro right now why why not just wait until august 23rd see what dji comes out with with the mavic 2 pro because obviously if you're going for a phantom 4 pro you're kind of leaning towards the professional side or you kind of want a little edge in terms of the camera so you're probably not going to be interested in the mavic zoom you're most likely going to be interested in the mavic 2 pro so let's keep the phantom 4 pro and the mavic 2 pro conversation and let's put the zoom aside if that makes sense so back to the topic why would you want to pick up that phantom 4 pro 2.0 or 1.0 right now when you don't know what the camera is like on the mavic 2 pro wait until the mavic 2 pro is released if the camera is not better so what you are going for the version 2.0 phantom 4 or the phantom 4 version 1.0 go pick it up then wait and see what dji is coming out with with the mavic 2 pro if it does not stack up to the phantom 4 pro version 2.0 or 1.0 camera specifically because that's what you're aiming for then go pick up the uh, the phantom in the meanwhile just wait what have you got to lose because if the camera is better if the camera is more advanced and we do have controls over the camera like aperture and all of these things that people are concerned about and the camera is better because the phantom 4 camera is pretty old technology too it's very good don't get me wrong but it's still been out there a while i'm sure dji has a little trick up their sleeve when it comes to that camera so why not just wait if the mavic 2 pro's camera is better boom, pick up the mavic 2 pro if it's not go pick up your phantom 4 pro can, uh, drone problem solved now here comes the trick question and the one that's really has me sitting on the fence because i own a uh, phantom 4 pro already so if you own a phantom 4 pro already and you're thinking now well should i sell my phantom 4 pro now obviously you'll get the most money if you sell it now but what if you sell it and the Mavic 2 Pro's camera doesn't stack up to the Phantom 4 Pro's camera? Then you kind of screwed yourself. 
because you'll probably have to end up going back and buy a Phantom 4 Pro. Or you'll just have to learn to live with whatever the Mavic 2 Pro offers. So now comes the point where it gets a little tricky. Now you're taking a risk. Do you want to take that risk? Do you want to bank on that risk? Because I don't know the full specs of the Mavic 2 Pro's camera. I don't know if you know it. We don't know what full controls we're getting. We don't know if we're getting electronic shutter, mechanical shutter. We don't know these details. So do you want to take the chance? Well, that's up to you. I just don't feel like taking the risk because I don't know quite what DJI's strategy is right now. So I'd rather hold on to the Phantom 4. I know I will not get that much money if the Mavic 2 Pro's camera is better than the Phantom 4 Pro's camera. I will end up taking a loss because it would not be in that much demand because people will be able to get a better product that's more portable unless the price range is exorbitant. That I don't know. So the, in case you haven't realized, there's just too many variables out there. So if you own a Phantom 4 Pro 1.0 version, 2.0 version, doesn't matter. I would say hold. Don't take the risk. Now, I'm not telling you that taking the risk is not worth it. It may very well be. All I'm saying is I'm not taking the risk because I don't have any inside information. I don't have the specs on the Mavic Pro 2's, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro's camera, and I am going to hold off on that one guys if this video was helpful if it helps shed any value or light or guidance in any way shape or form and you do enjoy my content make sure that you hit like you hit thumbs up please leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are what your plans are what's bothering you maybe i can help you in some way shape or form Now guys, when it comes to my plans, my plans for giving away a Mavic 2 Pro every month is for my patrons. In case you don't know, I have a Patreon channel and I have a few patrons there that are supporting me. If you're not a patron and you like this content and you're thinking about helping me to produce more content at a faster rate, just go over to my Patreon account, become a patron. All it takes is $1 a month. I don't know the price on the Mavic 2 Pros yet, but when I do get the pricing, I'll let you know as soon as I reach that much Patreons that is giving me $1 a month and I hit that milestone, I'll go into the DJI Mavic, uh, I'll go into the DJI store and pick up the DJI Mavic 2 Pro just like I picked up the DJI Mavic Air. Thanks a lot, man. Any smile, sir. Guys, I'm going to be giving this away probably to you when I'm done reviewing it. So make sure you hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And leave a comment so I can find you and give this to you. And give it away. And the next month, as long as you guys enjoy my content, I know you'll stick around. And I'll go pick up a, another one as long as you guys stick around on my Patreon account. And the following month, and the following month, and the following month. And this is just my way of saying, hey, if you like my content, and you want to support me, I will give whatever I can to you guys to help show that in return. And I hope that you guys learn to fly from watching my tutorials. If you haven't, check out my tutorials. I work really hard to make sure that I keep you guys safe and to get you guys the shots that you want. This is your boy Drone X Factor and I've got to be lying out.